Defending the goal to my broadcast right in the opening period will be Ethan Chadwick, making his 24th appearance in his third start in a row. Now lead pass, Pasternak on a breakaway, moving in Beeks, and a save made by Chadwick. He had it, he looked behind him, but he had it under his left pad and covers up. Wright joins and activates. Charlie Wright moving in, trying to make a move around the man. Now it comes up in front. Redman trying to chase it down. 6.45 left to go in the period. Now here's Waterer bursting through, backhand shot. In over the line, around Roarsma. Cuts inside, gets a shot away, and came across the goal mouth, and Chase on couldn't finish. Highland in over the Blades line. Brett Highland dashes around. Molodek moves in, shoots, and scores. Brett Highland, a nice move. After he took the pass on the left wing, darted around the defense and cut across the front of the goal mouth and tucks a backhander to the left of Ethan Chadwick and in. And with two and a half seconds left to go in the first period, Wong up the near boards. Manti pinching up, keeps it alive. Now the puck bounces in front, comes a shot and a save made by Chadwick. He looks behind him, but again, a big save, Ethan Chadwick. Epson on the far wing and over the line, stepped into a knockdown by Saunderson. Nolan Flamond on the far wing, cutting to the middle, tries a shot, save made from Schubert. Chadwick rebound, they score. Nolan Ritchie able to tuck home the rebound of the Nolan Flamond shot. And Brandon has a two nothing lead, 6.34 into the second period. Trying to spin away from Luke Shipley and does. Water route for Charlie Wright. Wright had to reach for the pass. Now gets the shot away. Scores! Aye, oh, let's go! A big goal for the Saskatoon Blades late in the period. Not sure if that was touched on the way into the net or not. Yes, Charlie Wright's going to lead the fist bump line. That might have gone off a Brandon defender and in. But with 1.53 left to go in the second period, the Blades get on the board with a badly needed goal. Heads in over the line. Waterroot gets around the man. Moving right in. Dead to the deep. One on one against Manti. Waterroot trying to step up front. And Keller in over the line. Leaves for Chase on. Chase on on the left wing. Back to the line. A shot by right, right on. Rebound. They score. Hey, Jordan Keller on the rebound. Johnny on the spot. Ties the game up at 2 2. Backhand pass finds Delagrojandi. Here's a shot deflected right on a skate save. Here's Lizowski. A spin and fire. Tosses it back to Delagrojandi. For Wong in the circle, beside the net. Here's Chase and he scores! <laughs> Jake Chase on reaches out to his right to the near side of the ice with the stick and quickly drags it back in front on the forehand and shelves it and makes it 3 2 Saskatoon. A power play goal, and the Blades have their first lead of the hockey game. Pokes it by Hammett, gets it in over the line for Jordan Keller. Keller cutting in front, shoots and scores! Oh, sure, Jordan Keller with a strong power move to the front of the net, off the post and in. 4-2 Saskatoon as Keller with a couple of goals, even strength in the third period to help with this comeback. The Blades come back from 2-0 down and win and sweep the weekend, beating both Manitoba teams on home ice. 3-2 last night against the Winnipeg Ice. 4-2 tonight over the Brandon Wheat Kings here at Sastel Center.